Hey guys, this is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And today we're going to be checking out the Death Hatter V2 Mini along with the Razer Goliathus uh, Speed Pad. And we're going to be comparing it with the Razer Gigantus V2 and the Viper Mini. Before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button to show support. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe. You want to see more content like this. With that being said, let's begin. Alright, so first we're going to unbox the moss pad and once we unbox the moss pad, we're going to go ahead and uh, unbox the V2 Mini. Um, so, right, but before we get started, let me talk about the V2, I mean the Razer Gigantis V2. I actually like this mouse pad a lot. It feels a lot like a, it feels a little muddy like a QCK, but it's not as slow as it. Yeah. And I feel like it's, I feel like it's right in between a QCK and a GSRC. I am gonna have a QCK coming in tomorrow, and I'm gonna be unboxing it and comparing the two, uh, comparing the GSRC and the uh, V2 Gigantis with the QCK to see where where the V2 stands in between. Maybe it stands right in between the two, or something. But we're gonna find that out tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, this pad's how much? How much? How much is it? Fifteen bucks. I think it's a really good price for that pad. Fifteen bucks, and uh, I think I was actually streaming with it. Well, when was it? it was like Last a week, week ago, yeah. and I made it to Platinum Two with it. So for fifteen dollars, and I mean the performance you get out of this really you good. get it's actually pretty decent. So really good. yeah. Um. So yeah, this is this is definitely a control pad. It's not fast by any means, and I like the performance I got it for fifteen bucks. So yeah, I saw the Razer Goliath Speed on sale for fifteen bucks as well, the Doctor Disrespect Edition. Yeah. So I'm hoping that if I I hope that I like it just as much as I did the V2, or maybe I like it better. Who knows? We're gonna find that out. So let's go ahead and unbox it, Carlos. All right, let's go. So yeah, I think for 15 bucks, this is a solid pad. I, I can't wait to drop the review on this. I'm really excited. I've been using it for, I've been using it for two weeks now, and I really like the performance. So this is how it looks. Let me put it up in the camera. That looks pretty cool. No, I got. I kind of like uh, the whole theme of it. The colors, the colors look kind of cool. Honestly. It looks cool, right? Like yeah. what is it, like blue, red, and purple? Yeah, it's like been. blue, red, purple, pink, even like neon blue. I don't know. Like it looks cool. Okay. It genuinely looks cool. Right off the bat, it does feel. Um, it feels smoother than the smoother, the V2 yes, line. than the V two. Yes, I could tell. All right, so it definitely feels smoother than the V two. The V two had a, a grainy feel to it, but after playing it for two weeks, it definitely smoothed out a bit. So let's see how this feels like. You hear that? What is that? That's the texture of the pad. I think I have to break it down like I did. The uh, you sure the V two? It, it may be because it's not. It hasn't had time to like set flat. That's uh no, no i don't know mind. no it, i think it's a texture yeah, i think yeah, i have yeah. to break it down yeah. too um yeah, it's texture because i don't see any really bumps here and there let me see i do notice the difference that there's a stitching on this one as opposed to the oh you're B2. right it Yo. doesn't have a stitching the Yo, is... you want what's crazy the stitching is really flat on this one it kind of reminds me of the it kind of reminds me of the stash right? yeah yeah, yeah. The dash. i mean yeah of the dash uh, the dash is stitching however i want to say the dash is more tighter it looks it just looks but better it looks very similar. Yeah, yeah 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 but it's similar and you know like when it comes to the sense of it being like flat and, and you're really not gonna feel it on your form it feels good it's it's i want to say it's, let me see let me compare this real quick yeah, yeah, yeah just put it on the top yeah this it's like slightly faster but it's not that much faster like do fast wipes and just try to try stop It is faster though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It side. is. It is slightly faster. Watch, watch. Try this. Try it. All right. This one just. This is. It's just. It's this is like smooth, slow, and that's like a smooth, a little fast. You know, okay. It's just a little faster. This one's like. Muddy control slow. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's smooth too. But it's smooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like muddy smooth, and this one is just. It's like this smooth. one's just like. Uh, yeah. I like. I don't know how to. I don't. I don't know how to describe, it, but I but it is faster. Like I could tell, like the speed difference between. But them. it's not nothing like a Thor or like a. No, 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 no! Oh my like God, the Thor is the Thor is fast, fast right? dude. The Thor is a fast pad. Like it, it seriously. No, this is definitely not as fast as a Thor. But I like it. I I actually like it. It's actually pretty decent. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be trying. I'm gonna be trying this and the Death Hatter V2 combo for yeah. a while. See, don't, let me see now. Let's go ahead and um, now let's go ahead and unbox the Death Hatter V2 Mini. Now this is I'm re I'm really excited for this. You know I saw I saw I saw a popular YouTuber's video, 
and he posted the link on the Amazon, uh, the Amazon link for the V2, and I got it. I just got it what, today. Today, today. I, can't, I just got yeah. it today. I ordered it a while back, like a week and a half ago, and I just got it today. But you know, let me go back to the pad. Yeah. I, I think I'm, I, I think I'm I like it. Kinda like I actually kind of like it. Yeah. Like it. Not that how bad. much did you pay for this one? Fifteen bucks, same as the V2. It was yeah. on sale. But this one was on sale, right? For how much it was originally? Out of, it was twenty five bucks originally. Yeah, I got it on Amazon for fifteen bucks. Yeah, I mean, you it's. Know, I think it's pretty cool. I have to be honest. Yeah. I like it. I don't, I don't have any, you know, issues with it so far. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so far with it. So. Yeah, but let me see. Now the Death Adder V2. Now. I like the Vi- I like the Viper Mini's shape, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel perfect like I like the shape I'm able to play with it but it doesn't feel perfect and one of the things I didn't like was the sensor and by now we all know they use the same sensor so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that when I actually do get to play it maybe the shape maybe I'll like the shape more than I do than I do mind the sensor so um, I don't know maybe this will be my end game but then again there's no such thing as end games we all know that <laughs> let's go ahead and unbox it now let me see real quick I like the I think I like the clicks on this one better than I do on the um, on the Viper regular Ultimate. Ultimate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate. yeah. I don't like them. They feel a little. I don't know. I just didn't like them as much. And these feel these do feel a little more clicky, and they sound yes. clicky too. They do. So let's go ahead and box this. It looks like the same packaging as the Viper Mini. Yeah. So. Oh. 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 Wait. What? what oh, that's gonna... right. They include oh, grips. Oh, grips. Yeah. 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 Grips. I forgot about that. And I got a razor sticker. Oh yeah, you know, keeping this bad boy. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie, it looks pretty shape cool. Looks pretty decent. It looks pretty comfortable. I haven't tried it now. I haven't tried it yet. But let's go ahead and try that. Let me go ahead and undo this real quick. Is it me or does the cable look thicker? Maybe it's just me. Right, the cable looks thicker. The cable looks thicker, but it's Same more thing. loose. No, it's more loose. Let's feel it. Let me see. And then, and then feel this one. Oh, the cable is thicker. But oh, you see? Ugh. You see? Yeah, this one's just straight up stiff. The one on the Viper Mini, it's just straight up stiff. It's just yeah. a stiff. Yeah, we'll go cable. ahead and get a close up of the, of the. Uh, Okay. Paracords, okay. but they have the, have the cable. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and get close up on the cables so you guys can see the difference. But it's it's not that loose. No, but it's, yeah, it's, it's not that loose. much loose. But yeah, but it, it is looks. more loose than the Viper Mini. You're right. You're right. Let me see now. Let's let's go ahead and see the. Uh, yeah. Oh, I like. Oh, I does like it have any like tape underneath the bottom or anything like that? No. No, right. No. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh, it has a. It has a. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah you see, come down as opposed to this one. Yeah, you see, this one has plastic around the sensor. This one actually has a PTFE skate right here. I think that's gonna be pretty good. I don't know why they decided to put a plastic ring around the sensor on this one. They should have just left the hollows hollowed out space so you could put, so you could put aftermarket feet that do have the uh, PTFE feet on there. But this is pretty cool. Same switches. The right click house sounds more hollow. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. But right away, the the shape does that's yeah. feel pretty good. Yeah. It's I feel like it's still a little too small for me. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and see and play with it for a while. And go ahead and feel the shape. I feel like because All you're right. a claw player, that's right. the Viper Mini is more of your thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You wanna know what it reminds me of? Hmm. It reminds me of uh the Skull Mini. Big really? time. In what way? Big time in the sense that since what I a uh, relaxed claw, yeah. um these two here, like uh here, the knuckles no, like, I guess. Yeah, knuckles here. yeah, here at the bottom they don't make contact with the mouse. It's more it's more on these two and that ah. kinda just throws me off. It it like on my on the two on the left side of my hand. Uh so there's more grip here. Then you know, then it are here, and that throws me off. And I had the same problem with the uh, with the Skull Mini. Mm-hmm. Uh, but whenever you add grips to it, I was able to actually put you know my claw and you know and actually kind of uh, get it there. But the shape, 
It's good. It's just I just don't think it's gonna be for me. No, I think I think this one's more of your thing. Like that, that. Yeah, like right. Yeah, like right. I mean. Yeah, you have dude. full contact on your on, on your knuckles right here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just I just yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a palm player, so this feels this does feel good in the hand, and it feels really light. Now, been using the. Uh, it does feel light. Been using the mirror, and uh, I feel like this is lighter than that. Let me see real quick. I don't think the coating's the same. No. No, this is like a smooth. This is like a smooth yeah, out plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, and it even looks different too. Uh, we'll be giving you guys a close up shot yeah. on that. But like this one's more smooth on the Coding. Death Adder uh, mini, mini, and yeah, and on the Viper mini, it's it's more. It has more like texture on yeah. it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think that's what I included grips because I feel like this is a little slippery on my hand to be honest, and I feel like yeah, same switches. Not only that, but I like the coating this one better because. I don't think I've ever complained or seen oil stains in this one, and no, I know, yeah, no, 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 and no. I know that the coating on this one's gonna leave fingerprint stains. I mean, look at this, it, like yeah, you kind of tell just you like can't a little really bit. see a yeah, little bit, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, yeah, no, not really. I mean, like it will leave like sweat stains, but you know, like you they'll go away. Yeah, yeah, you can use what you wipe them off. Yeah, I feel like this one's gonna be a lot more. Uh, I feel like the Viper Mini is more sweat resistant as opposed to the V2 Mini. Yeah. I mean, they're not bad. Like, no. I don't, you know, I don't mind the shape. It's just that the shape is just not for me. Like, I, I could, I could already tell. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, have that much of a fun time with it. Okay. You know, as opposed to the right for me. Let me try to scroll, bro. It's the okay. same. And let me see this one. Yeah, it's, it's the literally same, the right? same. Yeah, the same bun, same scroll wheel. Side buttons. I actually like those. Let me see. I like the side buttons on the V2. On the V2 Mini. Me too, but I like them just because they're like shaped right there. And they're, it just. They're also little And little they're bit. wider. Yeah, I, they're going to be easier like to hit. wider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think that's why like, I like them. Yeah, these both sound the same. Same. Yeah, they both sound the same except the uh, DPI and the uh, V2 Mini is bigger as opposed to the Va Razer Viper. I mean, as opposed to the Razer Mi the Viper Mini's uh, DPI button, that one's smaller. Yeah. But um, yeah, how much was the Death Adder Mini? This one was fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Wow. Oh, and yeah. this one was forty actually when it came out. Forty bucks. I think it's still forty bucks. Is it still forty? Yeah, it's still forty okay. bucks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Now. Let's go ahead and take the uh, Death Adder V2 for a spin and we'll be right back and let you guys know what we think. Yep. All right, guys. So we're back, and after trying the V2 and the mouse pad, um, these are my thoughts. I actually like the mouse a lot. Immediately, I noticed that 
I didn't have a good grip on it and I don't know if it was because of the coating or whatever but I ended up putting the grips and I made it a lot lot better uh, I did notice that it did leave fingerprint stain like I said it did leave them and putting the grips here it just makes it so I won't you won't see them and it just feels better overall with the grips I was able to perform better with it what about you yeah same I felt that the mouse without the grips I was kind of losing uh, my grip uh, like a whole lot so with the grips for sure I, I feel more confident, confident you know yeah. when it comes to me tracking and me yeah. uh, flicking but I mean it to me it the mouse is better with the grips on like a hundred percent it like it definitely made it better uh, but was it, is it was the shape for you uh, the shape unfortunately was not for me and again it reminds me a lot of the skull mini and so the skull mini shape also wasn't for me uh it was again it's a it's a small like it's a small amurgo mouse yes and those aren't really my thing i've kind of come to notice and it feels similar in the sense where you couldn't get a grip on it yes yes, yes. so they just the skull mini and the razor i mean and the death adder right v2 uh, mini. uh v2 mini um i just couldn't really get a good grip on it and that was my same concern with the skull mini but again adding the grips did help out it's just that i wasn't able to perform as well as i wanted to yeah yeah, yeah for sure for me i actually like i actually like the uh, shape of the mouse as a palm player i feel like this is a pretty good shape now is it gonna be my favorite shape probably not because i feel it's a little too small these these small mice man i don't know i, don't, I haven't found one that really fits my palm grip style good you know I actually prefer the Mira M as of right now but maybe I have to, if I get used to the shape over time I may actually end up liking it more I really didn't notice the difference a lot with the sensor I mean I know that playing with the Viper Mini I complained about it well I was able to notice it a lot more but I don't know I mean maybe I just got used to the fact that high lift off distance is not that really that bad or something but I mean, I really didn't notice it. Did it really, did it really affect your gameplay? I would say no, honestly, no. It, it's just, I mean, it is higher, you know, it's high. like, uh, than other mice, right? Yes. But uh, but I don't think it really affected it all too much when it comes to, like, lift-off distance and whatnot. Like, no, you right? playing, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. It's not as bad as as most people think, honestly. And the mouse pad. What do we think? What do you think about the mouse pad? I actually really, I actually really like the mouse pad. Uh, the mouse pad was, it, it was, it was fast. I want to say it's, you know, it's pretty smooth. I feel like, you know, right now playing with it, we kind of broken down, but not really. Uh, it was fast. It was smooth. Uh, the stopping power is pretty good, too, on it. Um, it doesn't have the same, it doesn't have the same stopping power as something as, like, a dash. Mm. But, you know, it's not bad overall. But it is, you know, it is a speed pad. And, I mean, I don't have any uh, uh, trouble playing with it, honestly. Yeah, I feel like this is, maybe if the V2 is too slow you may just end up liking the what is it the Goliath of speed yeah because this is this was honestly it's a little bit too fast for me i noticed it i've been using the v2 for a while now for about almost a week and a half almost two weeks and i noticed that this one was faster yeah. I, I wasn't able to uh, micro adjust as well i wasn't able to stop as well flick as well so for sure the v2 is more my thing um but i don't know like i like i like the pad i like the pad am i gonna be using it a whole lot Probably not. I, I really, I really, I've really been digging the V2 a lot. The V2 Gigantus yeah. a lot. It's a control pad, right? When you, right, you say? Yeah, it's like, it's a good control pad, yeah. man. This is, this is faster. It is faster. But not like a whole lot faster. But it's not crazy, you no, know, like it's not, Thor. No, the Thor's not, like, Jesus. That one's like really smooth and yeah. fast. But this one, this was like, I want to say, it's, it's slow. It's slower than the Thor for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's a good pad. Is it, I think the V2 is better. Now, what about you? Do you like the V2 better? Uh, I do like the V2 better. Uh, 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 just because, again, uh, those slow, uh, the control pads really are my thing. and uh, But this one wasn't all that crazy fast either. Um, I like them both, but yes, I will go with the V2 on, on, on that one. Yeah, and I really like and I really like how the V2 is 15 bucks. You know, for 15 yeah. bucks, I think the performance guy, it's really good. I will be dropping a review on that soon. Um, but yeah, this is pretty fun. I guess a car you're gonna be streaming with it. Uh, yes. Yeah, I guess I will. I'll be streaming with it. I I usually stream on Saturdays around like 9:30 a.m. Uh, Central Time, and I could go from either an hour or more. But yeah, so I really don't have like a set schedule. But that's a time where you guys can definitely go ahead and uh, check out my stream if you guys want to just chat or just chill. 
Yeah, so that's about it, guys. Um, this is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged, and we will catch y'all on the next one. Peace.